Okay, look, I'm a busy dude. I've got kids, client work, music, passion projects, and that's all on top of running this YouTube channel. So when I do make YouTube videos, I need to be able to bang them out quickly. But how do you make videos quickly while still making them look good? Because, you know, even tutorials should be visually appealing and engaging and all of that good stuff, right? Let's talk about it. Okay, I know that I've put out a few DaVinci Resolve workflow hack videos in the past, but those only go so far. And to be fair, they don't really cover the whole looking good part of making videos. Because that requires things like motion graphics and movement and titles, and that stuff takes a lot of time to make, especially if you want it to look professional. And that's time that frankly, I don't have, which brings us to the whole point of this video, which is motion VFX. Now, if you've never heard of motion VFX, stick around because I'm about to show you how they can help you save a ton of time editing in DaVinci Resolve and make your videos look a whole lot more interesting. And if you have heard of Motion VFX, stick around because, well, because of the same reason, really. See, Motion VFX creates plugins for DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut, Premiere Pro, and After Effects. They also create LUTs and have stock elements like smoke and snow and ink backgrounds and light leaks, and you get the idea. So what exactly makes Motion VFX a workflow hack? Well, let's say that I'm creating a DaVinci Resolve tutorial, as I do, and I want to zoom in on a part of the screen. Well, traditionally, I could do that using the inspector and a few keyframes. Then if I want to zoom back out, that's a few more keyframes. And then if I want to make the zoom in and zoom out smoother, you have to go into the keyframes in the clip. Or I can use the Focus 14 effect from Motion VFX's M tutorial pack, drop it on an adjustment clip, change a couple settings, and I'm good to go. Now, granted, that only saves me a couple of minutes, but considering the amount of times I zoom into a screen recording during my tutorials, that adds up to a lot of minutes. That M tutorial pack is actually really awesome. It's got a ton of effects that help you bring focus to parts of your screen, placeholders so you can put yourself in the corner of the frame or to the side or wherever, and a whole bunch of really cool titles and animated graphics that can really help you not only save time making tutorials, but also make your tutorials look more interesting. And even if you don't make tutorials, Motion VFX will most definitely have something that will help you both save time and most likely improve your videos, like the M Tuber packs. I think there's like three of them now that are packed full of calls to action graphics and subscribe animations and branding elements that are perfect for YouTubers. Or two of my personal favorites, M Channel Clean and M Channel Modern, which both have a whole bunch of awesome titles, backgrounds, and other goodies for YouTubers that are looking for a more clean and modern look. And the best part about Motion VFX is it's super easy to use. Everything is drag and drop. You literally drag it from your effects bin into your timeline. You can drop it directly on a clip or onto an adjustment clip, or if it's a title, it just, comes in its own clip, and then you go into the inspector, you change the color or the settings or whatever, and everything is good to go. It's literally saved me hours upon hours upon hours that I would be normally spending trying to do all this stuff manually. It's, it's amazing. And even installing the stuff is easy because it comes with its own installer. Now, I know some of you are going to have some concerns, so before you take to the comment section, let's address them. First, I know we all hate subscriptions. That's why a lot of us switch to Resolve, right? Well, don't worry, because Motion VFX doesn't have a subscription. You see a pack, you buy it, and and it's yours, the end. That being said, if they did have some kind of all access subscription, I'd probably get it. Second, yes, this is a sponsored video, meaning Motion VFX is paying me to make this video. So why should you listen to anything that I have to say right now? Well, if you've been watching this channel for a while, hopefully you know me well enough to trust that I only work with brands that I actually believe in and use myself. If you're new to the channel, well, I only work with brands that I believe in and use myself, and I can prove it. Well, hello, it is Future Jay here. I'm actually editing the video that you are watching right now, and I just wanted to show you my effects library. If we come over here and we look in my title section, you can come down and you'll see Motion VFX. If we open that up, we've got the M Channel Clean, which we talked about earlier, M Channel Modern, 
M documentary, M event, M hollow. Down here, we got M storytelling, music video, just a whole bunch of stuff. And I use these all the time. And then if we close that out and we come down to my effects, you'll see motion VFX and we've got M16 millimeter, M Camrig, M channel clean again, M documentary, M event, a whole bunch of these motion VFX templates, music video, restyle, storytelling. I use them all. And to top it all off, if you need more proof, if we come down into my favorites, you'll see that M tutorial focus 14 that I talked about earlier, I use this in every single tutorial that I make. Cool? Cool. Okay, back to the video. Okay, last but certainly not least, if it's possible to do all of this stuff natively in Resolve, why should you spend money on packs for motion VFX? To answer that one, I'm gonna have to refer you back to the whole point of this video. Time. Seriously, yes, you can make basically everything that Motion VFX has to offer natively in DaVinci Resolve, but in the time it would take me to figure out how to make half the stuff that I use, I could edit like four or five videos using the effects and titles for Motion VFX. It's honestly kind of a no-brainer if you need to pump out videos quickly. And yes, I know I've been yelling. So there you have it. My number one tip for creating YouTube videos quickly is Motion VFX. They're linked below if you want to check them out, which again, you should. And then you should check out these other workflow hacks right here. And until next time, don't forget to go out and make stuff. Thanks for watching.